am not green. Hello everyone, my name is Pee Wee, and I am the alien that crashed on the earth. Myself and my brothers and sisters will abduct all humans unless you do these three things. Subscribe, like the video, and share the video. Pee Wee, get off the computer. Fine. Let's get into the game, destroy all humans. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. Into space? The tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars. Destroy all humans. One giant step on mankind. <laughs> all systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby. Show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? I finally One. arrived on Earth. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Oh, look at that explosion. The music is exactly what you would think when aliens are invading the Earth. The alien is so small. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <laughs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! <laughs> I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. Oh, that was Crypto-136? Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto 136 to a hostile planet and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. That emphasis he put. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... We gotta <laughs> He's getting confused. Man, when do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Earth. Our destination. The planet Earth. Time to invade the Earth.
Blue Moon Drive-In Cinema. Will we be invading the movie theaters too? Are we going to probe the cows? I had a feeling that cow was going to be abducted. Almost there. The humans will pay. I guess we're doing our job as Crypto 137. Oh, that feels uh. bad, man. Orthobox to Crypto Sporidium 137. Come in, Crypto Sporidium. Crypto here. How he had to hit his chest. From the safety of the mothership. Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. <laughs> lactating bovoids? Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, what? Cryptosporidium. Time to bully the cows. And crypto. Do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! Stop yelling at me, boss. <laughs> this is awesome. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Oh, I have to scan each cow. Moo? Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Seriously, boss? Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They're just cows. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Ugh, disgusting. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. <laughs> this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. Oh. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. I can't believe we're arguing with a cow. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Kill the cows? Perfect! <laughs> I was having too much fun. Move on. Curse these creatures. Is this an alien's favorite sport? I've been saving you for last. Let's throw you over to that house. Stupid Good cow. Work, crypto. Mm, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute, that ain't steak. That's <laughs> Martha. Give me the shotgun. 
This, this game's so funny. Fry that farmer. Ah! Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. They can never know about us. You can consume the brainstem and collect the furon DNA. Oh, that sounds painful. Harold, come on back. You gotta see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like. Hey, Granny. Not green. I am blue. You incompetent human. Be merciless. Ooh. Survive. Uh, I will electrocute you all. He feel my electricity. Oh, howdy, feller. I think you need to chill. Here we go again. Good work, crypto. The humans need to pay. Oh, who's coming here? Are those cops? Oh boy. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What is over that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Oh, we can't let them do that then. Okay, let's stop the cops. Oh, the Furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto! You cops are going to get it. God, I hope none of the other Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! The saucer! Oh no! I need to get to the saucer quickly! Thing in your path! Take a spin in the saucer! Time to annihilate everything. Go ahead and start shooting. Oh, no problem, boss. Buildings, leave no trace. Yeah. Back to the Stone Age. Oh, back to the Stone Age. More like the beginning when Earth was created. No mercy. The humans refuse to give me nug nugs. This is so cool. Destroy them all. Destroy them all. Nice shooting, Crypto. Who is there to stop the aliens now? Park ranger? Move, move, move. Oh, it's the military. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Wait, Joe what? Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Will do. Will Open do. Fire! Oh my god. Let's do it. I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans. Oh, definitely, boss. Definitely. Look out! There are 
are more to the north in the bushes. Ah, oh, crap. Replenish your saucer's shields by draining any human vehicle. Let's destroy this one. Let's destroy this one. Let's destroy this one. Let's fly up for a bit. The humans are making a final push. Wipe them out once and for all. Oh, definitely. Oh. <laughs> Feel the heat. Perfect. Is there a human vehicle I can use to replenish my shields? This human's gone. Who else do we have to go to? Oh, this one. Excellent work, Crypto. We got them all. <laughs> Who else is there to stop the aliens? Is it going to keep going up from there, the government? Did you see what I saw? Who's you this? Bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the US Army. Right, good. Me too. Green? Not gray? I think you're Don't colorblind. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It <laughs> means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. Oh boy. Big heads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. The invasion is on. Mission successful. Look at the objectives. What objectives are these? Cattle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. <laughs> now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the Tell me. days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, um. a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Okay. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Doesn't that make them Over part the aliens, aliens? We've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. So we're supposed to extract the Furon DNA from the humans? I'm in.
Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. Ooh. I'd be able to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. <laughs> delicious DNA you collected? New mission, Earth women are delicious. We're eating them? Okay. Okay. I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for... questioning. Get the picture. Malleable human? Boss, what the heck are you talking about? Uh, no skin off of my teeth. Continue using the cortex scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies. Oh god. Let's go into the fair. What we need is the dumbest, weakest willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. It's your heart out, Lana Turner. You've got nothing on me. So we have to find a human that is weak minded. But who would be my cowboy? What are these thoughts I'm hearing? So that's what they mean by a roll in the hay. Seems like a whole lot of nothing to me. Okay, not this one. How many dang ways are there to cook a cow anyway? Hmm. Is there a cow in vittles? A cow in vittles? Some pig on a spider's web. What in the world did that mean? Why won't Billy Ray stop looking at Joe Bob and start looking at me? That seems very odd. My head's exploding. Oh, Crypto. Oh. I'm going to find information if you kill the oh, whoops. people. Get back to the mothership. Candidate number one. It says Amos, but my body says Andy. Um. Okay, I regret scanning her mind. What I need is Cary Grant and Gary Cooper. Now that's what I call town and country. Good for you, I, I don't really care. Who invented high heels, so I could kill him. Oh, that's true. I'm queen! Finally, I was gonna flip my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea? Mild-mannered secretary by day. High-class call girls snaring sensitive lonely millionaires by night. A girl can dream, can't she? Oh, I guess there's not. What's happening? All right. Oh, did I do it? I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected. And I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to probe and vaporize. No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. Oh, I wanted to vaporize. Abduct, not vaporize. <laughs> okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? <laughs> As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's Ooh. envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. The size of a peanut? Her and send her back to your ship for collection. Will do. Hopefully we don't get caught by other humans. Implant a command on a puny human brain. Bend its will to ours. Hypnotize Miss Rockwell. I want to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go! Nope, nothing to worry about here. I don't remember parking here. Of course, I 
can't ever remember where I parked. My car seems bigger. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And saucer shaped. Whoa. This is just like. Yeah, the car is la, much la, bigger. La, la, la. La, 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 yeah, don't la, worry la, about la, anything. La, that I'm an alien. Wavy hair like Wait a minute. Where am I? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh, you got abducted. Please. please. It's probing time. <laughs> it's probing time. Oh, that is delicious. Never fails. Okay. Time to ride on our saucer and get out. Hootie Crypto, the authorities are on their way. Get in your saucer. Wreak havoc by using your saucer's abducto beam to abducto levitate beam? a creature or object. Oh, not another blasted alien invasion. I'm gonna wreak havoc on this fair. This pie tastes so bad. I'm going to destroy this whole fair. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, you guys aren't going to live today. Whoa, I actually exploded a tent. Run! Run! Fear the aliens! We're gonna destroy it! <laughs> I did come from outer space. Let's go this way. I broke down this tent. Wait, was that Miss Rockwell? No, we abducted her. I'm kicking you out of the fair. I love the music in this. Nope. I believe I can fly. I'm tossing all the guests. Oh, do you guys want to ride the Ferris wheel? Let's throw some more stuff. Read chaos. <laughs> Time for things to heat. Oh yeah, that was the place where the mayor guy was there. Yes, there won't be any fairs anymore. Aliens hate fairs. Looks like I destroyed everything I think- Oh no, the ferris wheel. <gasps> oh, the ferris wheel collapsed. Everything is destroyed. Well, mission successful. The humans didn't know what hit them. Another mission successful! Disaster at Rockwell Fair. Fairground left in tatters by freak storm. Miss Rockwell committed to Shady Pine Sanitarium. Oh! That is all for today. I had a lot of fun with this game. 
If you like this episode, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share the video. Especially if you want a second part of Destroy All Humans. Thank you for watching, and that's all.